Hi guys, welcome back to yet another tutorial. My name is Asad that this is a channel all about cinematography, photography, tech reviews and stuff of that nature. Today, I am going to show you how easily you can create this glitch effect using Premiere Pro in just a few easy steps. This RGB glitch effect is a very cool way of stylizing your videos, especially used in music videos and I've lately seen that being used on a lot of YouTube videos as well. So, you know, we will create that in just a few easy steps. Let's dive into Premiere and let's start creating this effect. So I have the clip on my timeline. I'm going to apply adjustment layer on the top. Why I'm doing that so that I can apply my color grade before applying the RGB effect. So let me quickly apply one of my LUTs. Next, I'm going to make three copies of my video layer. So let me quickly do that. And I'm going to rename them to show red, blue and green. Now highlight the red video layer and go to the effects control panel, type in curves, you'll see RGB curves effect. Drop that onto your first clip and then go to the effects control panel and over here we'll be able to see red, green and blue curve. We're going to bring green and blue down in this case and we'll go back to our timeline, select the blue layer and we'll do the same thing with that. But this time we will bring the red down and we'll bring the green down as well and we'll keep the blue as is and we'll do the same thing with the third one and you got the idea we're just gonna keep the green one this time and we'll bring the blue and red down with red layer selected go to the effects control panel again go to the blend mode and change it from normal to screen and we'll repeat the process for blue and green video layer as well Now you see that like the video is back to its original colors, but uh, there's no distortion effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a few cuts where we want to have that effect started. With the layer selected that we have cut, we are going to go to effect control tab again and play with the position for this one. While you do that, you see that the effect is coming up so we're going to do the same thing for blue and we'll go to the next cut and try to do a similar thing here as well now we're going to move it in the vertical direction and we'll do the same thing with blue as well just to give it a mix and you can see that the effect is now showing up so if we go from start and play you can see that the effect is showing up let me quickly render it and play it again so guys if you've learned anything of value from this video do let me know in the comment section down below do share like subscribe and all those good things and i'm gonna see you guys next week probably with another tutorial or another video on that note i'm gonna sign off and say goodbye